Okay, this is bogus. <laughs> I don't know who you people think you are, but... We are the Anti-Villain League. Once Gru has taken on this assignment for the Anti-Villain League, we begin to notice that... Uh, hello? Minions are disappearing. <laughs> Very mysterious. It's all very foggy as to what's happening with the minions, but they are disappearing. <laughs> and no one knows where they're going. It's very scary. <laughs> and ultimately, the very plot that Gru is trying to crack hmm. now involves the capturing of the minions and the transformation of them. <laughs> into a force for evil. <laughs> one of the first ideas that we brought up in one of the first meetings when we were talking about the sequel was the minions turning evil. And the reaction was, oh, dear. No! Everybody loves the minions! Don't mess with the minions! Can't make the minions evil! No! That would be horrible. I think the idea of something cute becoming something, you know, monstrous is a very appealing thought. Huh, you usually don't see that in bunnies. It felt like a fun opportunity to find uh, an aspect of these characters that felt like evil minions. Like, what would that look like? The first thing that we wanted to do was make sure that the evil minions still uh, looked like minions, just sort of a twisted version of, of what a minion was. So we started with a minion, and then we twisted the minion attributes. The evil minions were a challenge to design. I thought the transformation could have dramatic effect on their hair. We wanted them to be monstrous and evil and just indestructible but still goofy. You know, you still They're want to be kind minions. of fun. Yeah. So you give them the crazy hair and the underbite, make them a little dumb looking. And we gave them long arms that they don't know what to do with, and they're always chewing on or, you know, flopping around. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Let's face it, they're minions. They're still minions, they're goofy, they're distracted, <laughs> but dangerous, a little more dangerous. <laughs> Another thing we wanted to do was change their color and see like, you know, how that felt and what color is more evil than purple, you know what I mean? <laughs> We wanted something that was weird and different, but we don't want them to be green. That might feel too much like an alien. You know, red would have been a little too much like El Macho. His world is very red and fiery. Well, we actually brought the color because the opposite of yellow is purple. purple. And we wanted them to be bright. We, even though they're evil, we still wanted them to be bright and fun. It also came ultimately to a little bit of their voicing, which Chris is doing a lot, which makes them like sound very, very stupid. So they're basically way dumber than our regular minions, which is a lot to say about them. One of the funniest things was when they first started just recording the signature, I, I couldn't get enough of it. And because it just sounds so stupid and somewhat menacing. Just the way they talk. Yeah. Right? That's, of course. That's not in really yeah. intimidating. The evil minions, they were just so fun with their underbite. But we did want them to be really scary. You know, as scary as they could possibly be. It's a very scary movie. I don't see anything. I hope we don't scare people. <laughs> but I have a feeling everything's going to work out OK. Oh la la.